In this tutorial, we will look at how to use the HTTP session object provided to us by the Java Servlet framework inside of Struts 2. As always, for my YouTube students, there will be a link in the description to my Udemy course where you will be able to download the source code for all the examples. These are the steps we will follow. First, we will reuse our interceptors project. Then, we will review the session aware interface. We will add the session aware interface to our register action. Then, we will store the registered insurance agent data in the session. And finally, we will display the agent data stored in the session. Okay, so let's move over into Eclipse. Here we are in Eclipse, and we have copied our interceptors projects to the Struts2 HTTP session insurance project. So now let's have a look at the session aware interface in the Struts2 official API document and here it says actions that want to access the user's HTTP session attribute should implement this interface. This will give them access to a map where they can put objects that can be made available to subsequent requests. And this is what we are going to do with our register action. So this is our register action. And as you can see here, we have implemented the session aware interface, which means we defined a session map. We store objects in a map and we use a string as the key value. We implemented the set session method. We also uncommented our validation from our interceptor tutorial. And let's see, this is what we actually do. We set the key string to the value of registered agent. And then we add it to the session with key value of registered agent. And we store the agent bin and then we return success. And that means we now have stored the insurance agents in the session. So if we go back and we look at our register action, we see that the input is the register JSP and the output is the thank you.jsp. Let's have a look at how we change the thank you.jsp. This is the thank you JSP. And here we've just duplicated the struts property tag for our agent bin. What we do here is we display what we find in the session by the name of registered agent, which should be an exact duplicate of the agent bin. And of course, as the API specified, we now have access to this session object, this stored agent throughout the lifetime of our application. So let's go ahead and run this and have a look. We will select Enroll Insurance Agent. And now we will enter the data that the validation requires. And register our insurance agent. And there we have it. So here we get the agent object back. And here we pull the agent object back from the session object. So that concludes our overview of the HTTP session object. Once we get to our create, read, and update example, we will dive a bit deeper into this in order to use the session object for securing our logged in user. See you in the next video.